Hey guys, welcome to the Virtual Call Center Masterclass. I'm so excited to have you guys here so that you can learn everything that you need to launch your virtual call center business and be successful. So my name is Jaquita Renee. I'm going to be your host and a presenter throughout this presentation. And I'm going to be sharing with you how I was able to partner with Fortune 500 companies to launch my virtual call center and what marketing strategy I used to get over 300 agents in less than 90 days. So let's just jump right into it. So just to reiterate what we're going to be going over, we're going to be going over how to obtain your first client. So I'm going to be teaching you about a partnership with one company that will allow you to um, partner with multiple Fortune 500 companies. So I'm talking about companies like Coach, Home Depot, Saks, Carnival Cruise, you know, and the list goes on. The second thing that we're going to be going over is I'm going to be telling you about the three ways that you can structure your virtual call center to bring in revenue so you can generate five figures at month minimum ten thousand dollars the last lesson that we're going to be going over is how to automate your business so having a business is great but automating it so that you can not only have residual income but passive income is what the goal is and that's what i'm going to be teaching you today so with this business you no longer have to just dream about the life that you want to live. You can actually live your dream. And I love this quote by Mark Twain. It says, don't dream your life, but live your dream. And that is exactly what my um, passion is about. It's about helping other people live out the dreams that they desire. So how do you do that, right? How is the virtual cost in their business tying into living the life of your dreams? Well, this business is going to allow you to generate a consistent monthly income, have the ability to work from anywhere and make money with little to no effort on a daily basis. So you are talking about residual income. We're talking about passive income and a WFA business, right? So if you have always wanted to just travel the world and live your best life, you know, you are able to do that now with this business. So let's talk about who this webinar is for. I want to make sure that you're in the right place and that you are not wasting your time um, because time is valuable. It's our most valuable commodity. So let's make sure you're in the right place. So who is this webinar for? This webinar is for anyone that's been frustrated with the lack of success in their past business ventures. Me, right? Um, anyone who's looking for a business model that allows longevity, this is going to allow you to have a legacy and to pass down a legacy to your family. Also, this webinar is for people who desire to have an impact in your community. I can tell you right now, having this business brings me so much joy to wake up every day and to know that all I have to do is go out and help people find jobs is amazing, right? There is no better purpose that I have found and um, absolutely love it. So another thing is, are you searching for fulfillment and a higher purpose, right? I just went over that higher purpose. Um, you get to help other people feed their families. There's no greater purpose than that to me, to me. Um, so who else is this webinar for? Are you ready to create generational wealth? Hey, hello. Yes. Um, and if your goal is to be the first millionaire in your family and you're self-motivated, driven, and not looking for a get-rich-quick scheme, because I can tell you right now, this is not that. It is going to take a lot of hard work for you to be successful, but it's absolutely doable. Now, what I would like to say is that there's a special offer. So if you stay till the end, which I'm hoping you stay till the end because you don't want to miss information, stay till the end, the very end, and you will receive the special offer so that you can take advantage of it. I love free stuff. I'm sure you love free stuff. So wait until the end of the presentation to get access to that information. So before we go into it, I do want to just introduce myself for those who don't know me. Um, like I said earlier, my name is Jaquita Renee. I have been an entrepreneur um, for about eight years now, but I knew from uh, a child, right, from being a child that I knew that I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I wanted to own a business. Um, I lost my mother at the age of 12 to suicide. My fathers and, and brothers and uh, honestly, my sisters, right, they were in and out of the prison system, um, which gave me more of a desire to take care of my loved ones, right? I wanted to find a way where I could help my family and they didn't have to resort back to the street life or resort to selling drugs and things like that. So I um, always had that passion. And then I became a teen mom, became a teen mom. And that just doubled it. Right. That gave me um, more purpose and it gave me a higher mission, um, which was 
to provide a life for my daughter that I didn't have, one that was not afforded to me. So as I started my entrepreneur journey, God kept bringing people into my life that needed help with their business, right? I'm naturally organized. I naturally like to research things. And he just kept sending me people that needed assistance with structuring and um, launching their business. So that bloomed into me becoming a business coach. And when I actually launched my call center, um, I was just launching the call center because I knew it would work. I knew the numbers were there and I knew that it was an amazing opportunity that a lot of people did not know about. So my goal was originally just to help people get access to the work from home jobs. Well, not even 30 days after launching, I found myself creating courses and doing business coaching consultations and everything else about this business. And that's kind of what created led me to create this webinar for you guys to teach you more about the virtual cost center business and how you too can earn five figures every single month. So like I said, I've been an entrepreneur for about eight years now. When I started off, I was in 2014. I opened up a jewelry company. It was short-lived. Um, most of my customers were my family members, right? Everybody's been there. If, you're, if you've been there, just, you know what I mean? Just nod your head with me. Um, so most of them were my friends and family were my customers and it was a failed business, right? It was my first failed business. But to me, that is a win, right? I still, you see, I marked it down as a win. Why? Because that started the journey that lit a fire under me and it made me really want to go even harder because I had to go back to corporate America and going back to corporate America was something I did not want to do. So that just pushed me even further to really go strong in the entrepreneur um, my entrepreneurial career. So 2017, um, my business partner, my previous business partner, and I, we launched a logistics company and uh, we did over a million dollars in the first six months of business. We did about 2.5 million in the first year of business. And um, during that journey, I was able to help three of the employees that we that were up under us, opened up their own trucking companies, and they went on to gross over $500,000 every single year. Um, now, what I will tell you is that at that time, I lacked personal development. I lacked financial literacy. And it led me to being broke, right? I know some people are going to be like, how can you spend that much money in a year? Like, how can you go from that and then be broke next year? Honey, it's possible. Because <laughs> when, you, when you come from a background like me, um, right. I, I, I grew up in the hood. Uh, when I started my entrepreneurial journey, I was living in the projects. I was a single mother. I'm just trying to make a way. Right. So when you get that much money all at once, you're not really sure what to do. And money without a plan will always lead back to poverty. And I did not have a plan. So it led me back to poverty. But it was a good thing. And I'll tell you why. It was a good thing because I started to focus on credit. And then I started to focus on not only personal credit, but business credit which led me into funding, right? Because once people get their credit fixed, what next thing they know, you want funding, you need money. So I opened up a funding company, which led me to be able to help three, um, help fund $3 million, right? For my, my clients. So it's been a journey, but it's been a very happy journey of ups and downs. <laughs> um, so communications industry, I entered in, in 2023, I actually found out about virtual call centers in 2021, but I was in transition and I just didn't have time. I did the research, I did the numbers. I was like, okay, I'm gonna come back to this. I know that this is possible. And it took me until 2023 to come back to it. So don't be like me, right? Don't be like me where you find something, you understand that it is a great opportunity, that the numbers are there, that you are fully capable of doing it, and then you wait. Right. Imagine if I didn't wait, I could have been making so much money right now, but I waited and maybe it was off for a reason because you're here now. So before we do get started, before you start any business and before I was able to start this business, what I had to do was I had to get my mind right. Right. I had to decide who am I going to be listening to? Am I going to be listening to the devil on this side and angel on this side? Like I can't listen to both. So I had to make a decision on who I was going to be listening to and I have the same conversation with a lot of my clients when it comes to them launching a business because the devil is busy. He doesn't have anything else to do but to whisper in our ears lies. So the first lie that he's going to tell you, right, is that you don't have a large following on social media 
and you don't like social media. So this is not going to be the business for you, right? That's what he is going to tell you. And that's what he told me, honestly. He told me the same thing. And I was like, mm, I don't know. And then the angel on the other side said, hey, social media is free. Over a billion people use it worldwide. And I'm speaking directly for TikTok, right? Over a billion people use it worldwide. It's the highest engagement on any other social media platform. You got the potential to go viral and you'll have all this data. Like you need to do this and you need to market it on social media. So I started a TikTok, a brand new TikTok, right? So I had no followers, three followers, right? This is what my TikTok looks like um, the next morning. So January 2nd, this is what my TikTok was looking like. Meanwhile, I created it and I posted midnight of um, January 1st, right? So this is what it looked like. Actually, this is what it looked like in the evening of January 1st. So 9.26 p.m., this is what my TikTok was looking at. Three followers. And um, I'm here to tell you that you don't need a bunch of followers on social media to be successful. It's all about being consistent. And over time, you will grow. So what I did with my marketing strategy that helped me get over 4,000 applications in my call center and counting to this day, and I still do the same marketing strategy. I have a lot of different marketing strategies I haven't even tapped into yet because this one is doing so well for me. So what I wanted, what I did was first I sat down and I discovered my niche. I thought about who do I want to market to? What type of person is that? What is their age range? What is their background? How do they relate to me? And I started to make content surrounding that. The other thing that I did, so it, so discovering your niche, right? You want to discover your niche. You want to share your story because they're going to connect with you. The next thing is you want to use targeted marketing. You want to use specific hashtags. You want to use certain captions. You want to use verbiage on your videos that will bring them into your fold. And the last and most important thing, guys, is you got to stay consistent, right? Consistency is key, no matter what. So what I used to do when I first started, and I still do it to this day, honestly, I have a million drafts in my TikTok um, and my Instagram, is I will scroll with intention now. When I scroll, I'm looking for a trending sound. I'm looking for a trending um, hashtag. I'm looking for a trending dance, right? Anything that's trending, I'm looking for that. And then I'm immediately saving that sound or that video so I can come back to it. And most times, I'm actually going to try to create something in the moment and then post it later. And Because a lot of times I'll make something, but I don't know what the video is going to actually say, what the verb is just going to say. So I'll just hold it in my draft. So I recommend that when you first start off, before you launch, Go ahead and start building up an arsenal in your draft so that on those days when you do not feel like it, and those days are coming, when those days you do not feel like posting, you do not feel like making any videos, you have this arsenal of drafts that you can just go ahead and post and you don't have to think about it. So the next thing after I got over that, the devil was telling me, was like, hey, um, there's too many people already doing this. There's too many people already doing it. You should have did it in 2021 when you first found out about it. It's too late for you. It's a wrap, honey. That's what he tried to tell me. And I'm sure if you've ever been in business that you have heard these same things come into your mind, that the market is saturated and it's too late for you. Well, what I want you to do is the next time that you have that thought, just go to the grocery store, right? Just take a trip to the grocery store and just stroll down the bread owl. The bread owl is the epitome of individuals who believe they could, and so they did, right? Because whether you think you can or whether you think you can't, you are absolutely right. And there's no such thing as a saturated market. If there was, there would not be this many types of different breed breads. We have wheat bread, we have rye bread, we have white bread, we have honey wheat bread, you know? So there's so many different breads in the owl. And honestly, every owl in the grocery store displays the story of individuals who believe they could. They could. And they knew that there was no shortage of success, that money was still being printed every single day. And every day, millions of people were going to need and would be looking for their product. And so they continue. 
And that's the same thing for us. Every day there's people looking for a job so that they can feed, clothe, and shelter their loved ones. And I can tell you right now, there is room enough for all of us. So when you go through the bread aisle, right, and you're walking through the grocery store, not only are you going to see that aisle with all these different brands of breads, but you're going to see a bakery. Your, your grocery store is going to have a fresh bakery. So imagine if the, if the grocery store itself said, you know what? There's already all these other breads. We're not going to waste our time with doing a bakery. No, they knew that there was another customer that will be looking for fresh bread and in different types of fresh bread, right? They're not just making one type of bread. They're making a lot of different kinds. So again, scarcity is a mindset and it's not reality. There is more than enough room for you and your business in this industry and you will be very, very successful. Honestly, if I held, had that mindset, that scarcity mindset, I wouldn't have done this webinar. I wouldn't have created a course. I wouldn't have created workbooks and all of these things and um, communities to help you build a virtual cost center business if I had that same mindset, right? So just think about that too. Like, hey, it's possible because she's here teaching me. So there must be room for me. And there is. So another thing that we have to get over when we are trying to get our mind right is the devil is going to tell you, um, you never owned a business before, right? And you don't know where to start. Some of us are seasoned. Some of us are new entrepreneurs. I know when I was new, that was something that um, I had to deal with internally and outside of what I was telling myself because there was other people, most of the time, family and friends that would be saying, hey, well, you're going to be able to do that. You know what I mean? Like, you are you don't know what you're doing. Like, how are you going to know what to do? How do you know? How When are you going to start making money? When are you going to be successful? Those are the little doubts that the devil will throw out to you, right? And you won't have any support from your family or your friends. And so you feel like, hey, I can't do this. I don't have a support system. I'm new to being a business owner and I just really don't know what to do. Well, hello, I'm here, <laughs> right? I'm the angel on the side of your shoulder telling you, yes, you can do this. And I am here to help you, whether you're a new um, entrepreneur or a seasoned entrepreneur, I will absolutely help you because even if you are seasoned like I am, this is a whole different business model. So there is going to be some trial and error and there is going to be some bumps in the road that we'll have to go over. So just know that you are not alone. And I have created and I'm continuing to create all types of solutions for virtual cost center owners. And, you know, from the course, the workbook, the software, Facebook groups, I'm creating so much so much for just our community so that we can all be successful. So you have the support, even if it's not family and friends, just know there is support here for you. So let's talk about why this is what I call the best work from anywhere business to have. I'm talking about it's going to withstand any pandemic, any recession, any inflation, anything that we are going to go through in the economy, this business model will withstand if you are consistent. So let's talk about recession because we're in a recession right now. So it would behoove us to actually talk about it and how we can recession proof ourselves with this business model. So I love this quote because it it just is so true. <laughs> the recession is when a neighbor loses his job and depression is when you lose your job. If that ain't the truth, right? When someone else loses their job, we're like, oh, so sorry to hear that. I'm going to pray for you. Right. But when we lose our job, oh, Lord, hold on. Let everything needs to stop. I don't know what to do. What am I going to You know what I mean? So depression is when you lose your job and recession is when the neighbor loses his job. So because we're in a recession, I wanted to do some research and I was like, OK, so if there's a recession, what are the businesses that are recession proof? You know, because there's always someone who is successful in any type of economy. So I was trying to figure out what business models would be the most profitable in a recession. And from my research, the first five businesses or the top five businesses that came up was rental properties, online reselling, online teaching, freelance services, which are 1099 contractors, and then childcare. And I want you to pay close attention to the highlighted words, right? Because they're highlighted for a reason. So 
Again, online reselling, online teaching, and 1099 contractors. Those are the top recession-proof businesses. And what does our call center offer? We offer 1099 positions. We offer work from home opportunities. We offer the ability for our agents to create their own schedule, the ability for them to pick their own client, and the ability for them to service multiple clients every single day. Not only that, but we are able as call center owners to hire nationwide. So with our call center, we are recession proof in ourselves. We're hitting all of the marks. It's online. We only um, hire 1099 positions. And that's a great thing. Not only are we recession proof in ourselves, but we are recession proof in our agents. Okay. And that is what the most important thing is that our agents are now becoming recession proof because with 1099 positions in a recession, you want to save money. So we're allowing them to have more money in their pocket at 1099. No state or federal taxes are being withheld. Um, they are able to save money because they don't have to commute back and forth to a physical location. They can work from home. They don't have to pay for daycare costs. You know, so many things they will be able to save money on by working from home. We're also providing them with freedom and flexibility. So there's no one telling them what day they need to work, how long they need to work that day, um, and what time of the day. They get to pick their own shift. So now they have time to actually spend with their loved ones. The other thing is that there's no income cap. If they want to service multiple clients and work 40 hours for each client, they can absolutely do that. There's no income cap. There's no one telling you, hey, you, we only have this amount of hours available and you cannot exceed that, right? There's no one telling them that. And for us, we're able to hire nationwide. We're not limited to one state or one location. We can hire um, as much as we would like, which is amazing. Again, recession proof. And guess what? <laughs> In a recession, people lose their jobs. They're losing their jobs right now. Every single day, someone is being laid off. And there's more and more announcements for layoffs as um, time is going on. So uh, this is the perfect time for you to actually start your virtual call center business. What I want you guys to do is right here, I want you to just take a screenshot because this, these are the key points that will help you explain why this is such a great opportunity for your agents. Right. So when you're speaking with your agents, you can literally just read off this verbatim to educate them on why this is such a great opportunity. So let's talk about how we're going to obtain your first client so that you can actually have the Fortune 500 companies in your call center so that your agents can service them. So there is a platform and it's called Arise, Arise Virtual Solutions. And they have built the first and most advanced virtual customer care platform in the industry, right? Uh, there's not any other platform specifically like Arise. There is one. There's one that is like Arise. But um, they are for nonprofits. But for Arise, these, this is the only platform where we as entrepreneurs can partner with them and then connect our agents with multiple Fortune 500 companies. So when we're talking about our call center, the first thing you are going to need is a client. This partnership is going to give you multiple clients for your agents to service. So what you want to do once you have registered your business and you're ready um, and you have your EIN number, you, you're going to need your EIN number, you're going to need to register your business, then you're going to go and get your partnership with the Arise platform so that you can go ahead and start offering work from home opportunities to your agents. Before you can do that, though, you do need to figure out how you're going to structure your virtual call center business to bring in revenue. So a lot of times people ask me, how do call center owners actually make money? Uh, like we understand that it's a call center, but how are you making money? So there's three ways that you can structure your virtual call center. The first way is um, similar to a staffing agency. Now, with staffing agencies, they take off a few dollars off of the hourly pay. So the client might say they're paying $15 an hour. The staffing agency is going to um, put out ads stating that they have work from home opportunities for $10 an hour. So with that structuring, you're making $5 an hour off of every hour that the client work, your agent works. So you can do that as a structuring type. 
It does make it kind of simplified because you're just doing a flat hourly pay regardless of the different opportunities, um, which will increase your revenue. So honestly, the staffing agency structure, it requires more documentation, but it is the highest revenue yielding structure. The second way is the percentage. You can do a percentage service fee, and that's just based off of, um, and, your, and your service fee is based off of the percentage. And it can either change or stay the same based off of the um, earnings of your agent. So I've seen different ways that staffing, that's, that virtual call center owners have actually structured the percentage. So they have done it the flat rate meaning they're just charging 15%, right? And it's no matter what. And then they there's other cost centers that are um, charging maybe 20%, right? And then if you service a certain amount of hours or a certain time frame, then they'll drop that percentage down to 15. And so they're rewarding those who work more, right? So the more you work, the more your percentage would uh, service you would drop. So that would give... Um, your age is an incentive to actually stay with your call center longer. So, and that's the benefit of a percentage service fee that I think is great. The other way is the flat rate service fee. Um, so this is the most simplified version. You're just offering um, a flat rate service fee. It doesn't change and it, that's just it, right? And that's actually the structuring that I have for my call center. I only have a flat rate fee and that's it. So let's talk about how to generate ten thousand dollars monthly. Monthly, which means you're going to be bringing in residual income, right? So residual income is um, income that you bring in continuously on a monthly basis. So with this example, I'm going to be showing you based off of what I have, which is a flat rate structuring, right? So we're not going to go over the um, percentage or the staffing agency structuring, we're going to go over the flat rate structure. And then if you like, if you would like to do those other ones, then you can go ahead and just use this same formula to figure out how you would, um, how much money you would generate on a monthly and bi-monthly basis. So um, one, we have 10 agents, right? So let's, as an example, this icon, the person icon is gonna represent 10 agents. And for every agent, we are charging a service fee. Now, what is the service fee? What is the service fee for? The service fee is to cover their support. You are going to be offering them support. A lot of the support is going to come before they even start servicing for servicing with you, right? You're going to have to help them onboard. You're going to have to help them register. You're going to have to answer any questions that they may have. So a lot of the support that you're going to provide is going to be upfront. So the service fee is going to cover support. It's going to cover your bookkeeping services, your software costs, your payroll services, and then any personnel that you would hire for your business. So let's go with an example if we have 100 agents, because that is always my goal. Um, my number one goal for everyone who opens a virtual cost center, you should be wanting to hit 100 agents minimum. Okay. So 100 agents and they're all paying a $50 service fee. Now this service fee is charged by monthly. So every, every two weeks, you're going to be charging $50 service fee for those who are actually servicing and working. That's gonna bring you in a revenue of $5,000. Um, the other reason why you wanna hit 100 agents is because Arise does have a platform service fee. In order to remove that platform service fee, you have to have 100 servicing agents. So that means now you're in profit, right? We're, we're moving over to almost full profit because we don't have to pay the 1975 service fee that Arise has. So 100 agents times 50 equals $5,000 by monthly. $5,000 by monthly times two payrolls because it's every two weeks, you're going to hit $10,000 every single month. So every single month, you can hit $10,000 if you bring if you have 100 servicing agents with this structure. You can hit that number quick more, actually quicker if you do some of the other structuring because you'll be making more money um, off of the agents. But it's up to you how you would like to structure your cost center. So the next thing is how to automate your business. So 
we have partnered with DVI Tech Solutions um, and created virtual call center solutions, which has custom automation specifically for call center owners, and it plans to begin at $97 a month. That is how we are automating our business. Prior to this, Lord, I'm talking about I had so many different systems, and I honestly thought I was automated. I mean, I thought I was doing amazing, and then boom, software happened. I'm like, yeah, this is the best thing that, <laughs> that could have happened because it, it took me from spending four, five, 10 hours some days on my business to just honestly, maybe two hours accumulative a, a, a day because I'm just answering pings now, right? And a lot of everything is basically automated. Um, so yeah. Uh, so let's talk about what you'll actually take home because one money without a plan leads to poverty but it's not about how much money you actually make it's how much money you keep so what matters is your profit margin how much money is actually going into your pocket not how much money you're making so when you are making ten thousand dollars a month right and we went over the software that automates your business that's going to cost a hundred dollars we'll just round it up and then you're going to have payroll and hr cost and a, when i say hr i mean sending off the documents um and i tell everyone just to simplify payroll just use gusto okay and you will find the link to that in the description um but just use gusto and you know 100 agents you're going to be paying roughly around 1200 dollars a month for payroll the other thing is virtual assistant so with this business, you want to fully automate it so that it now becomes passive income. How can you fully automate it? You have to remove yourself as an employee and actually become the business owner, meaning you're not doing the day to day activities. You're paying someone else to do it. Typically, that's going to be about $1,000 or less for you to um, get a virtual assistant to cover the day to day activities in your virtual call center business. So that brings in business costs at $2,300, you're profiting $7,700 every single month, right? So once you hit that 10,000 mark and you're able to, if you're structuring it like this, you're going to be bringing in $7,700 in profit. Okay. Can the church say amen? <laughs> so we're talking about a 75% plus profit margin, which is very unheard of when it comes to business. I'm telling you, I have done a lot of business models and um, I've never had this high of a profit margin. So where, where it was really profit, right? A lot of people just talk about how much they earn, but they're not talking about how much they're putting in their pocket. So uh, $7,700, you do that every single month of the year, you're bringing in $92,400 yearly in profit. If you could, if you could do for an extra hundred thousand dollars every year, just go ahead and raise your hand, right? Just, just raise your hand, uh, bow your head. <laughs> um, but yeah, so $92,000 yearly in profit. And that doesn't stop you. You don't have to stop there, right? Imagine if you scale this and you bring in a thousand agents into your call center and they were servicing. You're talking about $100,000 gross income into your business. And that's crazy, right? Because now we're talking about $1.2 million. And we're now talking about nine hundred twenty thousand and four hundred dollars in profit and i know when i'm saying these numbers because some of you guys are just like oh that just sounds too good to be true the numbers don't lie <laughs> the numbers don't lie so but it does take hard work i'm not saying that it's easy it takes hard work but the numbers do not lie right now there is over 5.7 million people that are currently unemployed and actively looking for work so, and actually it's 5.8 million. It increased since March, 2023. So 5.8 million people unemployed in the United States currently, we are able to hire across the United States. Why wouldn't we go for a thousand agents, right? A thousand agents paying a hundred dollars in service fees monthly, a hundred K. hundred K, $77,000 in profit every single month. Talk about living the life of your dreams right? This is how you get to living a life of your dreams. And a lot of you, 
you might say, hey, listen, Renee, that's good and all, but I'm good with the $10,000. $10,000 a month is going to let me live the life of my dreams. And if that's you, then absolutely do that. But what I'm saying is that there's no cap on your income. Just like our agents do not have a cap on their income, we do not have a cap on our income. And the sky is the limit. The only limitation is what we put on ourselves. Hey guys, so I wanted to add this in, right? So this is an insert of some new information I felt like would be valuable to those watching this free masterclass so that you can avoid some of the most common mistakes of new entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs in general and new business owners. So one of the first common mistakes is that, especially with the cost in our business, is that we don't launch, we don't do a pre-launch strategy, right? I personally did not do a pre-launch strategy. I just launched and it worked out well for me, but it does not mean that it will for you, right? And this is why a pre-launch strategy is very, very important. It does create a warm market for you. It ge generates leads for you as far as agents that are ready to begin working. And they're literally just waiting for you to launch your business. So when you launch, you're not launching a business and then waiting for it to start growing. It's already had some growth immediately because you did a pre-launch strategy. You don't have to take my word for it. I want you to listen to one of my students and then hear how their pre-launch strategy went. What about your pre-launch strategy? How did that go for you? Exciting. I loved it because I love numbers. So seeing the numbers, <laughs> seeing the numbers go up every day, every moment, that was very, 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 very exciting. I went from literally attend as soon as I put it up and then I ended up with nine I think over nineteen hundred people. Mm hmm Nineteen hundred people that did what? That subscribed, but I had over three thousand people that visited the the pre launch. So that's mm -hmm. all of that is exciting because I see growth. And if you were to convert all nineteen hundred people over to your cost center, what would be your monthly revenue? Over a hundred thousand. Period. So you've heard what the importance of a pre-launch strategy is, right? So let's go through another common mistake um, that we're just not ready for as new business owners and entrepreneurs is that we have no plan in place for us, our business, when life starts lifing. Life is going to start lifing. I am telling you right now, just to give you some insight in regards to recently how my life started lifing, um, I had to recently euthanize my dog, right? I had to put down my dog, my, at this, he was my son at that point, um, at this point, 12 years, 12 years he was in my life. And all of a sudden he had kidney failure. I had to put him down. And guess what I couldn't do? I couldn't crawl up in a ball and just cry myself to sleep, even though I wanted to, because I had a business to run. I had people dependent on me. I had over 450 agents that needed some communication and some support. And I had team members that needed communication and support and I, all these things. Right. So what do we have in place when life starts laughing? Even to go back to when I first found out about this business model in 2021, I had honestly after doing the research, I was beyond excited. I was excited. I just did the numbers. There wasn't a lot of information about virtual cost centers on the internet at the time. So I was just doing the numbers. And because I had built out businesses before, I was like, I can do this. I can absolutely do this. I started to build it out. I started to gather a team together. I started to make contracts. And then I stopped. I stopped because life started lifing and I had no nothing in place to... Um, Help me stay focused on what I was looking at in front of me that I knew would work. So that is why it is important. And the best thing that you can do is to launch as quickly as possible. The best thing you can do in this business is launch as quickly as possible. In this business, you are not generating revenue until you get people working. So launch quickly, grow, get your agents in so that you can start to generate business uh, revenue for your business. But let me tell you, let me let one of my students tell you how quickly they were able to launch. And guys, keep in mind, this video, this clip was before the software, before the software, before the automations that I fully built out for cost center owners. It was before all of those things. So this student, they launched very quickly. But I have students now that are launching in literally less than a week, seven days seven calendar days guys they are launched business ready to go and their onboarding agents but let me go ahead and let you listen to this clip very quickly just a little bit so how long were you in the coaching program before you launched uh less than t less it's been less than 30 days mm -hmm. i think today is day 21 
<laughs> oh, so like I said, 21 days, right? So let's go over another um, common mistake that a lot of business owners uh, go through. Did you know that you must invest in yourself and learn new skills to maintain your success? This is something that I honestly I preach to each and every person that comes in contact with me uh, about business. The first thing I'm going to talk to them about is their mindset. Because we have to do personal development within ourselves. We have to get a new relationship with money, a new mindset around money, a new relationship about ourselves, right? How do we see ourselves? How do we perceive ourselves? Those things immediately we're going to project even in our business. So it's very important that we have a personal development plan in place because it does directly affect our success. And most individuals, they just don't know where to start. They don't know what to do, what skills they are they need to directly impact their business and how they should start their personal development journey. And that's why I am here. But let me let you listen to another one of my students, right? Let's hear from the students. Let let me not tell you, let them tell you. Mm-hmm. Orientation. <laughs> like Build your own website, learn how to uh, build my own orientation, learn automation, learn how to set up contacts and learn how to set up emails to where they automatically go out. Just so a a plethora of things, just self-development, like she teaches everything, like every, amen, Ms. Jamil, everything, like y'all just don't know. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> what I've learned in less than 30 days, probably I would have probably had to go to school, pay all this money, and not be able to do it in 30 days. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just so much, so much. And, and and I am so very thankful, so, so very thankful for everything everything that I've learned. And again, these clips are before the software. So yes, I was teaching automation prior to the software. We did have some, but we also were juggling between, I would say five to 10 different systems to actually maintain our businesses. So now it's all in one system. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, (laughs) But yeah, let's move on. So one of the biggest downfalls of entrepreneurs is that they try to embark on the journey alone. I tried it myself multiple times to embark on a journey alone. Um, It took me to lose a a lot to understand that I needed to be in a community. I needed to have a coach. I needed to forge relationships in community of like-minded entrepreneurs. And that is why I created the community for you guys, because I want you guys to embark on this same journey together. You're launching together. You're not each other's competition, right? We don't have scarcity mindset. We already went over that. So we're not each other's competition. Yes, we're doing the same business model, which means that when you are at a roadblock, there's someone else who has already conquered that and they can give you insight. They can give you assistance. Instead of you sitting down, getting discouraged because you're trying to do it on your own, join a community. Join a community so that you can get inspiration and motivation to keep going. I'm glad that I did do the coaching because it did set me right where I needed to be. It held me accountable. I have, I'm in a group with a bunch of great women that I seem to see before me. Guys, I was able to clap somebody else on while waiting for my time. And that was the best thing that I felt like I was ever able to do is to clap and cheer somebody else on, to be there for somebody else's wins, to see where they felt, felt like they fell short. And really they didn't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Every woman in the group that I'm in, they're amazing. They're go-getters. They're, they're, they are the definition of being hustlers. Like, if you want to get down to the nitty-gritty, they're the <laughs> definition. Everybody in my group that we're in, they have businesses, multiple businesses. I'm just excited to see all the new people that join. I'm excited to see where they're going. They're my- okay, guys, so you keep hearing it from the students, right? Because that is what's important. I could tell you all day, but I need you guys to hear it from somebody who has already experienced it, who has participated, who has, you know, did all these things that I'm telling you guys about. So let's go over another common mistake. Have you ever started something and halfway through became discouraged and quit? Hello, I have. I have. You guys heard my story, right? So it took me personally losing millions of dollars, uh, multiple felt businesses, business ventures, losing opportunities to realize the importance of having a coach to help cultivate my mindset for the next stage of growth. I myself right now, the best thing I ever did was start to invest in coaching. 
it was the best thing I've ever done, right? As a business coach, I have a coach and it has helped my income grow tremendously. It has even more than that. It has helped change my mindset tremendously. And that is what is needed to get you to the next level. So once again, let's just quickly hear from one of my students. But thank you so much, Jaquita. Like you really have pushed me. You've helped me grow. Um, anybody who's thinking about doing it, stop thinking about doing it and just do it because it's literally a life changing experience. I mean, even if you don't decide to um, go the route that I'm going, just know that having a mentor and having accountability from somebody changes your life. It really does um, help you become a better person. Like just literally her saying, what's your morning routine like? What book have you read? Have you read Who Moved My Cheese? Which, no, I didn't read it. And they played it in an audio because she was like, why don't you just play the audio while you're in the shower? Like, why are we wasting time? You know, like just little things like that that will change your, your mindset, change how you move, change how you operate. And um, one of her biggest things that she says all the time, and I love it, is done is better than perfect. And so like you're procrastinating because it's not perfect or you're looking at this and you're like, oh, well, I don't like the way this looks or I don't want to do this just yet, but you're not getting anything done. So yep. that is, we can always improve later. We can always improve. And I mean, people do it all the time. How many, but thank you so much, Jaquita. So guys, listen, accountability, 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 um, I, I will never preach to people enough how important it is to have some type of mentor or a coach to help you along the way. Um, so let's go over another common mistake, right? We're almost done. I don't want to hold you guys. This is literally, I have one more thing that I want to talk to you guys about and then we're done. And you guys can go and start your business. So did you know with the right automations, you can literally work part-time while generating full-time income? This is my specialty right here, helping people work part-time to generate a full-time income, right? How do you do that? Automations. Automations create a smooth process for everyone, not only you as the owner, but your team members, and most importantly, our agents. Our agents, because you will lose so many agents if you make this process hard. If you don't have your, uh, what do they say, eggs in a row, ducks in a row, ducks in a row. If you don't have your ducks in a row, if you haven't crossed all your T's and dotted all your I's, you're going to lose not only team members, but also agents. So just a quick story about me. When I launched, um, I woke up and I had all these applicants and I was like, okay, this is cool. This is great. It's wonderful. Right. And then, um, but I didn't have an onboarding process in, in place. I had no onboarding process in place, period, at all. I just had an email that I was sending out to people and I couldn't for the life of me figure out why they weren't going to the next step. I just couldn't figure it out. And at that time I had enlisted basically my entire family because a thousand people applied in 48 hours. I'm like, hey, well, I need to onboard all these people. I need to communicate with them. I need help. Um, well, I'll tell you this. I didn't have a smooth process for my team members. They all quit on me. One by one, one by one, they all quit on me. Every single one. And I was just like, I started the business alone. I was left with the business alone, right? They were like, yeah, no, you're too much. This is too much. We can't keep working 12 hour days. And again, this business doesn't generate income until we get people working, right? So I was like, hey, we have to work no matter what, as many hours as possible so we get these people working. And then on the back end, you know, we're going to get paid. And they were like, yeah, okay, cool. That sounds all good and all, but like, this is your idea. And this is too much work for us. And you got us working 12 hours a day. And like, no, it's, it, we quit. And they quit. And every single one of them. <laughs> every single one of them. I don't blame them. I can't blame them. I can't be upset. All I could do is keep moving forward. Life was life. And I'm like, I got to keep going. These people are dependent on me now. So, but I didn't have a smooth process, right? I didn't have a smooth process for me. I was stressed out. They were stressed out. But the agent's they didn't know everything that was going on behind the scenes and how much panic was going on behind the scenes to get the information out to them. But my team did. And also think about this. I had 4,000 people apply in um, less than 60 days, right? I think it was around 30 days. Um, I could have well been at a thousand agents within my call center. Right now I have four over 450 um, agents, right? Just hit slightly above the 450 agents. I could have been at a thousand agents. I, I missed the mark because I didn't have systems and processes in place, right? I was juggling way too many things. And like I said, there wasn't a lot of information. So it was a lot of trial and error that I had to go through to learn all of these things that I have now built a program around so you guys can be successful quicker. So 
yeah, that is the importance. That's the importance of, of systems and automations is that you need a smooth process or they will all quit. And I built out a program so that you guys don't have to miss the mark. I want you guys to be successful. We don't need to miss the mark. It's going to increase your productivity. It's going to save you time. And again, it's going to give you less stress. Take it from me. I promise you. There was a lot of nights that I just cried and cried and cried, woke up. There was a lot of sleepless nights. There was a lot, right? And that's part of the business. I, I, I When I reflect on it, I absolutely love it because it got me here. It got me to the point where I was able to conquer everything that I was going through in my business and build out a program so no one else had to go through those same things, right? And I'm constantly still doing that, revamping. As I, as I overcome new issues, I'm like, oh, my students are going to need this. Let me go ahead and implement this in a program. And that is the purpose of having a coach, someone who is actively doing the business, not someone who did it a long time ago and they're not doing it anymore and they're just selling you a course or didn't really work out for them. And now they're just like, be leery of those people. But I will say this, I am beyond proud of you guys. Each and every one of you, if you're watching this, I want you to know that I am proud of you. I know that this was a big milestone. Whether you recognize it or not, this was a big milestone. You came and you took the initiative to invest your time. Your time is the most valuable commodity that you have. You saw something, whether it was a TikTok, a Instagram post, a Facebook post, my live, somebody shared something with you that I had created, and you something resonated in you. And you said, let me take it a step further, and let me go ahead and take this master class. And you did. And you sat all the way through to this end, to the end, right? And that means you are already 10 times more powerful than the average person because the average person will not search or listen for more information. It tells me that you are looking and actively seeking more out of life. And I'm proud of you. So today was just the first step. Keep pushing. There's so many of my students that started right where you are, just like me. I started, I didn't have a master class to watch, but I started right where you are, right? With nothing. But uh, but like this ins inspiration to like, oh, yeah, this is possible. I can't believe this is even is even a thing. Right. I didn't even know this was a thing. So um, you are capable and you deserve this lifestyle. You deserve to be free. You deserve to have residual income within your in your life. You deserve for your family to benefit from the income that you will generate from this business. So let's get to work. Get to work. If you didn't get the bundle, get the bundle. If you're going to say, hey, I am savvy. I think I can feel it, figure this out. I'm going to go ahead and get the bundle. Uh, go ahead and do that. Do that, right? Do that at the bare minimum. You're going to need the business checklist. You're going to need the um, pre-launch strategy and the onboarding orientation. I'm telling you, I didn't have it when I first started. It took me a week to figure out, like, no, it, four days, right? It felt like a week, a month. It took me It took me a couple of days to figure out I needed to onboard these people and create something. Um, but Either way, whether you do it on your own or whether you say, hey, I want to be a part of your program. I want you to coach me. I want to skip all of those roadblocks and bumps in the road and everything that I will have to encounter. I want to get to my destination quicker. Then I happily invite you to learn more information. All you have to do is visit the website, book a free discovery call, we can go over everything with you. Um, but either way, join the Facebook group, whether you do it alone or you want to be a part of the program, join the Facebook group. Get in to the community, participate in the community, comment, like, all of those things, ask questions. It does you no good to be a part of something and not participate. It will not help you. I promise you it will not. Um, but once again, thank you so much. I'm Jaquita Renee. I appreciate you guys. If you're not following me on social media, please follow me. Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube. My name is the same on all platforms. And enjoy your day. See you in these social media streets.